hello guys welcome to the 14th part of this series so this is going to be uh, the final uh, video of this project so basically the modification of the project so in this video we are going to uh, add the source functionality for our contact so let's start doing it so let me show you how our project looks like for now uh, looks for now so if I log into this uh, web page and as you can see our project looks uh, quite good so the very first thing that I want to do is I want to uh, count all the total number of contacts here so I'll go to this client uh, directory we'll go to this source we'll go to the pages and all contacts and I am going to make a here a simple edit that is uh, let's suppose I will write it as 3 and I will write it total your total contacts and I am going to uh, render my contacts dot length and of course this needs mm, this needs to be wrapped so I will uh, wrap this here so if I'll save and go up here and okay so this is compiling I don't know why it's why it's taking so time so if I'll go to this all contact and as you can see uh, as you can see it is saying your total contacts that is one so I can go to this and I can similarly uh, reduce let's suppose and give it a class name of text hyphen muted so if I'll go here as you can see our total contacts has been showing but it, it is all looking a lot better now let's see how it looks if I will delete this class name okay so this looks fine I can actually add here strong to make it more visible to the user so this looks good so I want to focus on this thing as well so as you can see uh, if I will hit here enter as you can see it is uh, redirecting to us to the home page so how can we fix it so let's go to this context auth context so basically we are setting this navigate to the home page so I will do here a check that is if location dot path name is equal to hyphen slash login or location dot path name is register then we are simply going to uh, navigate us navigate this user else uh, we can actually navigate the user uh, to the same path so I'll write here navigate location dot path name if this exists then we are going to uh, locate set the location dot path name to be of path name so else we are going to set the path name of home page so if I'll go to this create and if I will hit enter as you can see we are still at the create page so if I'll go to this contact if I refresh this page as you can see we are still at the contact page but what happens if I'll go to this login so as you can see we are still able to access this so let's see how to fix this so what I can do is I can simply copy this so if I need to enter okay I'm still able to access this piece I don't know why so let's see how to fix this so we can actually fix this by uh, using this set timeout function so because as you can see if I will remove this out and simply uh, paste it here and uncomment, uncomment this so if I write here login 
so as you can see it takes a bit time to uh, update our state so what we can do in order to fix this uh, we can actually use this set timeout function so we are going to redirect uh, redirect the user uh, to this home route in 500 milliseconds so what happens if i'll do here like login as you can see uh, we are immediately getting redir redirected to the home page similarly we can if i'll go to this register we are immediately getting redirected to the home page so now we have fixed this so if i'll refresh here as you can see we are still uh, able to manage our persistent route so now in this video we are going to see how to implement a search functionality so i will uh, write here my search i will create here my search bar so i'll go to this all contact and i'll create here some search contacts so i'll go here and simply write here input to be of the text name is going to be uh, a search input this id is also going to be search input similarly class name is going to be form control and placeholder is going to be search contact so let's see how this looks so this looks fine for now so let me also give here some margin so i'll go to this and give margin of two so this is how it looks for now so i can type whatever here. so let's uh, create here a state for this so i'll go here and create my search input and i'll write here set search input is equal to use state by default it is going to be an empty string and i can do here value to be search input and i'll give this on change value of set search input to be of event dot target dot value so now i can type whatever i want now now we are going to uh, make changes to this function so what i am going to do is uh, once we uh, change this state <laughs> We are going to change the state of this. Uh, that is what. Mm, let's suppose our contacts as well. So I'll write here. I'll go up here and write. Let's suppose for now. And I also give. I'll also give this form. also give it a uh, submit button that is of search and class name is going to be let's suppose button button info and of course this is going to be this is going to have class name of display flex and I can do this button medium display flex width 100 or let's give it a uh, inline styling that is style of display to be of flex okay so this doesn't look good I will create here button and I will write here search and this is going to be type of submit class name is going to be button button info and let me give it a margin of 2 so this looks uh, pretty good now so now we can start working in this so let me remove this and write it class name of display effects this looks pretty good now so i'll go here and start using this so what i can do is simply go here and write here on submit 
and I'll let it handle search submit I'll go up here and create here handle search submit this is going to have an event and we are going to prevent the default behavior so I'll go event on to prevent default and let's for now right here console dot log of hello so I'll open my console here and if I will hit here as you can see we are uh, getting the lo log message of hello so now you can start uh, adding the uh, source functionality so what I can do is I'll create here a new array that is const uh, new search user let's suppose new search user and what I can do is uh, I can map through this array so I'll go here and write contacts dot map sorry filter and I can loop through all of the contact and I'll only return the which uh, matches to the name so I'll add contact dot uh, name dot to uh, I don't know what the method name is so I'll go ahead and write to lowercase uh, let's report const hello is equal to to lowercase okay so this is the method name contact dot name dot to lowercase dot includes okay so this is the function name includes and I'm going to include our let's suppose search input dot to lowercase what I what am I doing is actually uh, converting all the names to the lowercase and I'm going to use this method for matching if the search input is getting matched to this or not so this will give us a new array and let's see so let's see how this works so if I'll go ahead and write PRA or let's suppose PR and I op I'll open my console and if I hit a search as you can see we are getting an array of one thing so it means uh, this is working so what happens uh, if I let's suppose um, remove this all and if I hit a search so, okay so we're still getting an array so what happens if I write a A okay we are still getting an array so as you can see uh, if I'll write here any random text and if I hit here search as you can see we are getting uh, an empty array but if I write here something like PR and if I hit here search as you can see uh, we are immediately getting a new array with one object <coughs> so now uh, let's use uh, this to display our uh, contact so what I can do is uh, actually uh, now I can store the previous state so what I can do is now set contacts to new search user so uh, let's create here one more contact uh, let's suppose like uh, Deepak Sa and I'll write here uh, let's suppose uh, go to this word and I will write here the name and let's write here any number and if I'll hit here okay so I need to reduce the number size so if I'll go to this all contact and if I'll say for now uh, write PRA as you can see 
uh, we are getting immediately the name of the user so I let it debug so uh, this is not working so what I can do is uh, I can go here and refresh this again so as you can see this is a uh, this is not a good idea so what I can do is uh, I am going to uh, add this state to a uh, let's suppose const previous state let's suppose contact state and I'll write here set contact state uh, or what you can do is uh, we can actually uh, while we are setting the state of this uh, user uh, what I can do is actually I'll create here a button so I'll go here and create a button so I'll write here anchor tag and I will give it the name of all contacts sorry my contacts and I'll give it to reload contact and I'll give it a class name of button button danger margin top from 2 so if I'll go here and let's suppose for now search the user like let's suppose Prasanth so as you can see uh, and if I'll go here and search so no contact created it so what I can do is I can reload this and I can uh, now get the state of this user so as you can see we have successfully managed to add the search functionality of this user as well so in the next video we will be deploying this site to the Heroku and Versal. So I'll see you there.